In this kinesiology tape method, we are looking at elbow, more specifically what is commonly referred to as lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. What we're hoping to accomplish with this taping procedure is just giving the body some feedback on where those extensor muscles are as we're coming through with the racket or if we have to move into a little bit of flexion in order to gear up for that motion. Um, you'll notice when we're doing this we'll start the patient in a certain position to help with that assistance. This is also one you could use a decompression strip on at the source if you so needed to and that helped provide relief to the patient. To get started, we'll get a general idea of the length of the kinesiology tape we want. I like to pre-cut mine as much as possible. We will then make sure that for this patient, we are pulling into a little bit of extension, and that is as I go into flexion, this will give a little bit of tactile feedback to the patient and where their elbow is. Again, I like to post it down with no tension, take off the backing, stretch out to my desired tension. Again, usually be between 25 and 50 percent, oftentimes not much more, lay everything down and then at the very end just gently lay down the kinesiology tape to make sure it sticks. Along with that, we then we create that friction over it in order to help the glue on the tape adhere to the skin. Uh, in a patient that does have hair on their arms, as this one does here, this did work because the quality of the kinesiology tape is very good and allows for that to occur. If for some reason the kinesiology tape is not sticking, you could use a little bit of adherent, but it's usually advised against as it takes away from the actual treatment of what the kinesiology tape is supposed to be doing. Again, we are then going to do our decompression strip. That we are splitting the tape in the middle, pulling to the outsides, dropping down under equal tension um, underneath the middle of that tape and then laying down the outsides flat in order to have that constant tension underneath where all of the tape is crisscrossing uh, in the middle of all of them. Again, to take that decompression component, hopefully lifting that skin in that area away.